Dude, do you remember the 9-2 Nashville video? Don't remind me, man. They just won. That was like five years ago. That was two and a half years ago. Who is a wizard? Hi, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Come on. Austin Matthews. Matt Moto, Wonder Dream, and Well, time for a redo. The demon ruining my life. A lottery winning wizard? Leafs win! 3-1 over the Nashville Predators! In what was almost a carbon copy of their win over Florida. You watch the first period and you go, hey, these guys are pretty good. Offense is clicking, the defense is impenetrable, and the goalie doesn't even have to do that much work. Second period, that's concerning. Third period, they flop around like they're mud wrestling with no shoes, and they basically say 50 rosaries and let the goalie do all the work. First period, not long after the Leafs kill off a penalty of their own, the Predators take a dumb one. Matt Martin lays a beautiful hit, no problem, separates the player from the puck, that is what a hit is for, and the Leafs head up the ice. Austin Watson drops his gloves and grabs Matt Martin right away. And I gotta give props to Austin Watson, he's gotta be one of the toughest guys in the league, but someone tell him what decade it is, because I love HockeyFights.com, I used to spend entire weekends on HockeyFights.com, but I swear every day I look at Austin Watson got in a fight last night, and I'm like, oh, is this a different video? No, he got into another one. He's got 13 fights in the NHL this year, and one in the A, which is extra incredible because where the hell did this come from? Look at his career before this. You hear all these stories from old timers about, well, I did what I had to do to stay in the NHL. That's not gone. But anyway, luckily Matt Martin doesn't oblige because he didn't have to because the hit was fine and the Leafs had possession of the puck and lucky Austin Watson didn't pop him with his gloves off. Leafs get a power play. Watson off for rough. Martin to Zaitsev. Zaitsev puts it wide and JVR just, oh my god. JVR, aren't you glad he's still on the team and not traded yet? Picture perfect tip, 24 goals on the season, and JVR at intermission talking about how he learned how to tip because Chris Pronger dragged him on the ice to teach him. So you're not going to hear this from many fans of teams that Chris Pronger didn't play for, but... The <laughs> Thank you, Chris Pronger. Now, something very interesting I noticed about this goal. Mitch Marner, this kid is disgusting because he picked up his 41st assist on this one. He got a secondary assist, which gives him sole possession of the Leaf rookie record for assists in a season. Now, here's the problem, and it's 2 p.m. the day after this game, so I, I don't know, but they might take this assist back. Dude, watch the replay again. Zaitsev puts it on. I think Kadri gets a piece of this and gets the initial tip on, and then JVR buries it. If that's the case, it wouldn't be secondary assist Marner, primary assist Zaitsev, and goal JVR. It would be secondary assist Zaitsev, primary assist Kadri, and goal JVR. Still, that part doesn't change. I've just watched the replay over and over a bunch of times. They probably don't even review it, to be honest. They just let him keep the record. And it's Mitch Marner! He's gonna break it again anyway! He's looked a little non-Mitch Marner-y lately, and it comes out that he's been playing with strep throat. I've had strep throat. The best part of strep throat is the banana-flavored medication. After that, life is miserable! Meanwhile, this guy's getting rocked by Alex Petrovic. No wonder Matt Martin jumped to his defense, dumb penalty as it was. But he made up for it in this one. one nothing Leafs. Now check this out. Second period. Useless power play for the Leafs. Nothing going on. And William Nylander just takes the puck and goes, you know what? I, I, I think, yeah, I'm William Nylander! Bunch of passing back and forth. No, Leroy Jenkins! What would the Swedish version of that be? Anders! Anyway, so he rushes the puck in. The Leafs finally enter the Pred zone. Gardner has the puck, gives it to Connor Brown, who sends a slick pass to Austin Matthews, who puts a slick shot past Pecorine, and it's 2-1 Leafs. PPG again. Here's me video editing in real time. It's 2-0 Leafs. I'm not... No, I didn't want to redo that clip. Austin Matthews, 36, the record breaker. Now, tweets like this one from Jim Matheson, which I, I understand. They're adorable. Why do they talk about the Leafs? I get it. They're good. Now, in January or February, I understand this tweet. Why well, we always got to hear about the Leafs? I get it, I suppose. It's enough. It's enough. They're breaking records every single night. Sometimes their own. Like, it's one thing if William Nylander continues to break the record that he broke, which, by the way, that finally fell apart in this one. It's another thing. Thing of Austin Matthews continues to break the record that he already broke. Marner freshly broke a record in this one. I'm sorry, that's noteworthy. And what I found noteworthy about this, the first period goal on the power play was scored at the 1842 mark. This goal in the second period on the power play, 1843. 
You know, it really sucks that Nylander's point streak came to an end on this one because you can only hand out two assists. He was responsible for this play getting started. Gardner was the second last guy to pass it. Connor Brown with the slick pass. Matthews buries it. Well, there's no room for you there, Willie, but you know what? You are forever in the Leafs record books. Well, forever until someone breaks it. Which they won't. Third period. Leafs go full Metapod. Nashville use Hydro Pump. Leafs use Harden. Nashville use Solar Beam. Leafs use Harden. Nashville use Flamethrower. Leafs use Harden. What Pokemon are you that you know all those moves at the same time. What we learned in this one, uh, uh, Freddie Anderson is okay. When the Leafs win, you get puppies. Let's take a look at Freddie Anderson's highlights in this game. Oh, here comes a point shot. Here comes a point shot. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Here comes the. You, Freddie. Freddie was better than that. Okay, that was the Philip Forsberg goal. Freddie, Freddie, you gotta make a big stop, Freddie. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. You want it? You want it? You want it? Want it? Want it? Want it? Superman's got it. Oh, what a big stop. Ryan Johansson. Where, where, where Ryan Johansson go? Oh, oh my God, he's running. Oh, Victor Orvington! Victor Orvington! Oh my god, oh, what a stop! What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? The raining shot's down! Oh, what a stop! Glove save! In his mouth! Alright, well, he's run away with the ball. You get it. Freddie was good. You get it. Ooh. Freddie Anderson was as good as we've seen him all season long, and he stole it for the Leafs in this one. The one hiccup was giving Philip Forsberg, one of the best goal scorers in the entire league, an open lane. To the point where he was like, I'm gonna shoot. Oh, I have this much room? Okay, now I'm going to shoot. I really like this tweet from Platinum Seed Ghosts, Third Period Suits, whatever you want to call them. Shout them out on the podcast all the time. Why don't you just marry him already? I'm already married. This goal was a lot about blaming Jake Gardner, and believe me, I wanted to beat him with a fish, and there was a lot of Matt Martin blaming. I even saw a couple, oh, if Zaitsev won seven years, he better do better than that. Now, I am not going to blame one person on this play. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it because I've been saying this for a very long time now, okay? You know what I'm about to say. A huge problem that the Leafs have had for a long time now. Talk! Communicates what's going on! I got this guy. You get that guy. You get that guy. I got this guy. Talk! Now, I didn't have a mic down at ice level, but I gotta figure a goal like that, a breakdown like that, doesn't happen if you're just yapping. The only excuse I can think of is I used to play rugby in high school and I hated wearing a mouth guard because anytime you wanted to talk to someone, <laughs> and your face and jersey are just covered in spit. But you have my permission to fluffer and fuck a tash all over the place if it means preventing a goal like that. But luckily the Leafs hold the fort, Freddie holds the fort, and with a minute left, Connor Brown, 19th goal of the season, he puts it in. Honestly, the best non-Freddie Anderson Leaf in the third period, bar none. He deserved the goal. Karma. One shy of 20. I've said this before, I'll say it again. Any other year, Connor Brown is the Leafs' best rookie. This year, he is fourth arguably fifth, but screw all those rankings, the only rankings that matter, oh, oh yes, oh yes, <laughs> but we gotta keep our composure, keep our composure, keep our composure, we gotta keep our composure, and the Leafs need to keep improving. Because you're going to have an awful time over the next half dozen games if you keep playing the way you did in the second half, specifically the third period of this game. You're right. You're going to have an awful hard time if you do make the playoffs winning a single game if you play this way. Uh, unless your name is Frederick Anderson, then be proud and keep doing that. So that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really like to tell all your friends. And Iggy, come, come say goodbye. Come say goodbye, they love you! I'm gonna go get him. Brand new Panicle Pizza, Steve Dangle Podcast down below. Nashville fans, we had Predators fan, Leafs fan, fence sitter Eric Young, wrestler person, on the podcast the other day. It was great.